Okay boys and girls, today's lesson is going to teach you how to draw your own hermit crab. Now we've already listened to the Eric Carle's story, A House for the Hermit Crab, and now we're going to take that idea and the inspiration from some of his illustrations to create our own artwork. What I'm going to do is actually just show you how to draw him. I'm going to give you a handout as well. well what I'd like us to do is to maybe practice it once on a piece of paper and then go onto our actual paper and be able to um, draw it using a crayon or an oil pastel. We don't want to use a pencil. I'm just going to open up my box of crayons here. Because if we use a pencil, the line that we draw is going to be too thin. So what we want is a nice bold uh, crayon. I'm going to use a construction crayon here. And how we're going to start is with the head. So first, we're going to think about it about the size of your hand, maybe a little bit bigger, and where you want to place it on your ocean. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to draw a circle, which is its head. All right, and it's basically about the size of a dollar coin. Then I'm going to draw a line, just a short line like this. We can do this together, boys and girls. And I'd like you to also look at the examples that I've got so you can actually reference the size of our hermit crab too. Then I'm going to start with the shell. I'm going to start with a shell here. And then I'm going to bring it round and it's a spiral. Take it to there, bring it round and like that. Okay, so there's his body. Next part, I'm going to bring a little line like that. So this now looks like it's got a neck and a shell and there's his head. All right. Now I'm going to do this center part. I'm going to bring an arm or a claw coming out like that. Now it's a bit like a triangle, but the point is going in like that. See? One, two. And I'm going to do exactly the same. One, two, so these are identical in shapes. And I'm going to draw a line, 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 line. Okay? And then we can turn that into pincers. Like that, just by bringing a little curved line like so. Okay? So, if you look, I've got it basically about the size of my hand. I'm going to do exactly the same thing, extra legs for our hermit down here a little bit longer and you'll see by the diagram that I hand out to you as well the step-by-step -step guide as to how to do it and a little bit more there and just a curl for a pincer same thing here a little bit there and a pincer there and a smaller one just here okay now I've got his legs his pincers head kind of a neck and a shell. Now we need to do his eyes. So I'm just going to do these two parallel lines, two parallel lines, and a smaller circle for his eyes, smaller circle for his eyes. We can do a dot now if you want to, so you can recognize and identify their eyes, but you're going to be painting over this afterwards. And his talons there. There we go, boys and girls. Now there you have your hermit crab. Now we're going to look at the illustrations again on the PowerPoint and also through the book. And what we're going to do is a line. It can be wavy or straight. Don't go across him, but behind him. Okay? So your hermit's in the foreground. And then this line is your sandy bed. And this is where your water is. You can start adding coral if you want to. Choice is yours. Okay? Starfish. an actual fish, whatever you want to add, okay, seaweed, because there was lots of seaweed as well in his book, and lots of fish, and then what we're going to do is we're going to paint the sand and the water first. So I'm going to give you brown paint and white paint, and you're going to mix those together, do double load, and then you can actually get the sandy color. Same with the water, if you can see my picture here. My water is actually a blend of blues and whites and I'm double loading it. So I'm not getting a flat color, as you can see. I'm getting a painterly effect. 
then you can start doing your own designs you can reference Eric Carle's colors or you can create your own I'm going to show you another example of a student's artwork who actually used the end of their paintbrush and added dots so rather than using the bristle end they used the hard wooden end and added dots and details to their oceanscape to make it their own original um, artwork so now it's your turn boys and girls let's go and make a hermit crab